Hey guys, Fizz here, and uh, today Wall Street Journal published on their website an article talking about Nintendo's new NX console, or codename NX since we don't have an official name yet. Um, basically talking about how Nintendo's releasing uh, software development kits for developers to make games. You know, it makes sense if a lot of the analysts are predicting that the NX is going to launch next year, so obviously um, companies need to be able to develop games for it earlier than the console releases so that they can get some games released in that launch window first couple months of its release makes sense I fully believe that they're sending all that stuff out now um, but it gets interesting later on in the article I'll read this little excerpt here um, the exact shape of well I'll skip that people familiar with the development plans said that Nintendo would likely include both a console and at least one mobile unit that could either be used in conjunction with the console or taken on the road for separate use now that's kinda interesting I think they're aiming for some kind of uh, you know, ro remote play like Sony has with the Vita and the PlayStation 4. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but this is the real interesting part. They also said Nintendo would aim to put industry-leading chips in the NX devices after criticism that the Wii U's capabilities didn't match those of, the, of its competitors. All I really have to say about that is, well, duh. I mean, if it didn't have industry-leading chips, if it wasn't as strong as the PlayStation 4, that thing would be dead on arrival. And then, you know, there'd be no point in getting it. And then the PlayStation 5 and next Xbox, whatever that's going to be called, um, that would launch just a year or two later and then completely destroy it, just like we saw with the Wii U and the 8th generation consoles. The NX is technically going to be a 9th generation console, the first 9th generation console. So it needs to be more powerful than the 8th generation consoles, for sure absolutely more powerful than the PlayStation 4. It needs to be. It just needs to be in order to even remotely have any success. Um, it, it needs it needs to basically do everything the Wii U couldn't. It needs great third-party support. Heck, even mediocre third-party support. Wii U had no third-party support. The NX needs third-party games as well as first-party games, which the Wii U was also surprisingly lacking in. You think with Nintendo's huge catalog of amazing games, they could, you know, at least launch a Zelda title on the Wii U anytime soon. Um, and you know, you know what I think? I think that with the NX launching next year and Zelda launching next year, I think they're either going to push Zelda. I think at E3 they're going to announce they're either going to push Zelda back to be an NX exclusive, or they're going to announce that they're going to launch the game on NX as well as the Wii U. I don't see why they would do that, but that's what I think is going to happen. I, I mean, I know. <coughs> That, that that's just really shady if the game's launching the same year as uh, same year as the NX is. Anyways, though, the the Wii U didn't have as good first party support as it should have. Still a lot of you know there's still no Metroid, still no Zelda, still no Star Fox. Um, have all that stuff on the NX. Half of the reason people buy you know Sony consoles or or in Microsoft consoles is because they have really good first party support as well as third party support. You have games like Uncharted and The Last of Us on on uh, Sony's consoles. Heck, they even re-released Uncharted and The Last of Us on Sony's consoles, um, as well as uh, the Halo games and Gears of War and stuff like that. You know, people like those games. People like those franchises, so they give them to you. And when they're and in Sony and Microsoft's case, you know, before they even have a sequel out, before Uncharted 4 comes out, they release the Nathan Drake collection, give you all the old games. Before Halo 5 comes out, they give you the Master Chief collection, release all those old games, or the Gears of War um, Ultimate Edition, stuff like that. That's good first-party support. It's just good first-party support. Um, but the, it just, I don't see the NX being successful if it launches mid-generation and is weaker than the PlayStation 4, or even if it's on par with the PlayStation 4, you know, that, that, that can be argued that it can see some success then if it's at least somewhat powerful, you know, at least getting those 1080p 60fps games, but I truly think it should be more powerful, and I mean, I know there's the whole argument of performance and price balancing the two, but this is a ninth generation console. If it can't keep up with the 8th generation consoles, I just don't see it having any success. Well, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below, or if you even care about the NX. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay classy, guys.